This week on Outdoor Bound TV. It's the final installment of our tour across Canada in search of world-class ice fishing destinations. No trip across Canada would be complete without a visit to the famous Lake of the Woods in Northwest Ontario. First, we look for crappie and perch with pro staffer Mike Gate in the Nestor Falls area of that province. Then we head north to Sioux Narrows for trophy lake trout with our friend Matt Ryberg on famous Whitefish Bay. What a fish. Early bird gets the worm. That's what you come up here for. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. I'm going to be just like my dad, strong like him, smart like him, and now that I have my mission menace, I'm going to be a bow hunter just like he is. This bow is my beginning, my future. This is my mission. Featuring an advanced perimeter weighted dual cam system, the Mission Menace provides power for the hunt and adjustability to fit any beginner, young or old. Visit MissionArchery.com to find an authorized retailer near you. Mission by Matthews. Markham's new pocket-sized handheld underwater cameras, the Recon 5 and 5 Plus, use a 5-inch color display to deliver superior screen detail and employ a combination of dark water LED and infrared lighting to punch through the darkness. The Recon 5 Plus adds a built-in DVR and on-screen display for critical information, previously only available on full-sized underwater viewing systems. This winter, see what you've been missing with a Recon from Markham Technologies, the undisputed leader in underwater cameras. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. It's our fourth and final installment in our ice fishing tour across Canada. And no tour would be complete without a stop at the famous Lake of the Woods. Now let's join pro staffer Mike Gate and Matt Serwa from Real Deal G2 Seeds who are already out on the ice looking for crappie and perch. Today we're out here on uh, Lake of the Woods. We're at Nestor Falls, Ontario, about an hour north of the border. Uh, fishing with my buddy Matt here from Wausau. Yeah, the weather today was uh, supposed to be 29 degrees, but we got up this morning and the wind was blowing pretty good. We were fishing out of the Otter Resort Hub Shack. It's a pop-up, fully insulated. Uh, we've had the heaters running in here all day. There's not a drop of condensation on the on the inside, so we're nice and dry. We can fish with, with uh, our coats off and no gloves, and so it makes things, makes life really nice. Crappie? Yeah, a smaller one, I think. Wow. Oh, that's a nice one. This wasn't, wasn't fighting very hard. Yeah, this is a nice size fish, uh, pretty colored fish. It's got that translucent emerald color on the back. Uh, it's probably a 13 inch crappie. Nice. Good eating size fish. We're trying out the 26 inch uh, custom carbon from Beaver down here today. Um, these rods are super sensitive. They've got a really good feel to them. We've got them tipped with the, uh, the 124th and the 112th ounce uh, cast masters. 
Color doesn't really seem to matter today. We're tipping them with grubs, uh, live minnows. We've had some gulp on there. The big ones I caught. <laughs> <laughs> Hit real light again. They're being real finicky. Perch. Decent size That's perch. That's a decent one. The bonus fish. That's my favorite species of fish to target through the ice is perch. So I've gone all over the Midwest chasing perch from uh, Minnesota to North Dakota and South Dakota, uh, even in Wisconsin and the Great Lakes um, as perch populations rebounding. So um, the perch I've seen out here are nice fish. The interesting and cool thing about this bay is it has perch, it has walleyes, it has northerns, it has crappies, they're all in the same area. So, um, you know, it's fun to get that variety of, of fishing species. Basically the same hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to move around. around. Yeah. Three species so far today. Yep. And the neighbors, they got a tulipy. There he is. I don't know how big he is, but... Not too bad. No, we're all right. Too bad. Nice. Not bad. It's slowed down a little bit. It but... definitely has slowed down. How about yourself? Not too bad. It was a pretty good day. Not a bad one, but he definitely was hungry. He kind of went against the grain and just come roaring in and smacked us right away here, so. The limits on the uh, crappies up here, they've actually brought them down the last couple years. They used to be, uh, I think uh, about eight years, it was up to 30. They've dropped it to 15 and now we're down 10. We haven't seen crappie fishing like this in probably the last eight, nine years. Um, they've also dropped the perch limit down. They've dropped from 50 to 30. Now we're down to 15 on the perch. Um, same thing, uh, perch are getting bigger, there's more of them, um, and you can catch them pretty much anywhere. So, I mean, if you're having a rough day catching walleyes, you're having a rough day catching crappies, I mean, you can go and entertain yourself for hours on end catching perch. So, I mean, the quality of the fishing has gotten so much better, um, the size of the fish has gotten so much better. You can come out and fish for, you know, your day, bring home 10 crappies and 15 perch, and, you know, and really, who needs more fish than that? I mean, that's a, that's a good meal. Um, and you're going to be able to come back and do that for many years to come. I mean, it's just going to get better and better. Well, today was the first day of fishing for me here uh, in Nestor Falls, Ontario, Lake of the Woods. And uh, it's really quite amazing how many crappies are out here and how, how uh, aggressive they are in this depth of water. So um, it's, I, we've been out here probably three, four hours now and uh, it's been steady fishing action and really good quality fish. We're keeping a pretty close eye on the electronics here. We just had a pretty decent bar show up about, that's got to be eight feet off bottom. And uh, we're just not sneaking up there to see if we can pick them off. So here comes another one. Yep. Up. So those, those will be crappies. Yeah. Suspended off the bottom. Yeah. Um, your crappies are typically above the perch or down below. It should be a crappie. This should be a crappie there. Good one? Yeah, I think so. Feels good. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So this fish came through about four feet off the bottom, and uh, so I raised up my cast master that I had tipped with a minnow, and got about a foot and a half above him, and he slowly came up and smacked it. So I had a, I had a whole minnow on this one 24th ounce cast master, it's blue and silver. Um, I had it tail hooked and that seems to be working pretty good for me today. All right, that'll do it for us today on uh, Lake of the Woods in Nestor Falls, Ontario. He's got a number of fish. Uh, we had a great day out here. Uh, I think we got our limit of crappies now. Yeah. yeah. And we got some perch and uh, we'll probably move Try for some walleyes. <laughs> That's nice fish. You got me. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe an inch. <laughs>
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. Two seeds. The results speak for themselves. The lithium laser and lithium chipper from Strike Master deliver power on demand with the push of a button and an industry leading 50 volt lithium ion battery. Reach for the lithium laser if you need unmatched hole punching speed, or opt for the lithium chipper if you need the durability of chipper blades for opening old holes or drilling in dirty ice. No matter which auger is right for the way you fish, reach for a Strike Master lithium. The electric auger with power to spare. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all new XDH hub shelters and the all new lightweight one man XD hideout, on up to the ever popular XD and XD Pro Series shelters that have earned a near legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Value Implement serves all of West Central Wisconsin and provides the tough Kubota equipment you need to tackle tough Wisconsin winters. Even the harshest weather is no match for the quality of Kubota and the experience of Value Implement's team. Take control of winter and stop in today for the largest selection of Kubota products at any of our six convenient locations. Value Implement. More stores. More selection. More value. You know, each year we receive thousands of photos from our viewers of animals that you've harvested and fish that you've caught. And we'd love to share them with you here on the show. All you have to do to be eligible to win is email us your photo or share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And this year you can win some great prizes once again just for sending us your photos. Prizes include an assortment of musky lures from Nays Baits, a Yeti cooler from Petrick Service Station, a trip for two aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat on Lake Michigan, and this year's grand prize, a four-day, three-night fishing vacation at Sunset Cove Resort on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. And remember, all you have to do to be eligible to win is send us your photo with your name and your hometown. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Hey everyone, welcome back. Now next we continue our ice fishing tour across Canada in the Sioux Narrows area of Northwest Ontario. We get a chance to meet up with our friend Matt Ryberg of Crawford's Camp. Now he's a specialist on lake trout and he'll be taking us out onto one of the most famous areas of Lake of the Woods, Whitefish Bay. Typically, uh, within the year, you start January 1st is opener for trout. So we're looking 
different areas where we can find your bait fish. Your cisco starts spawning late fall, so you try and find areas where the ciscos will be migrating from. Looking for the bait fish, you find the fish. That's our big deal. Uh, right now we're fishing areas closer to some larger beaches in Whitefish Bay where the ciscos and stuff had spawned in late fall. Hoping that we can find some of the bigger trout. Uh, most of the stuff on the north side of Whitefish Bay we're finding a lot more smaller fish. But today's the day. Today's the day that a 20 is coming through the ice on camera. Um, now typically when we're fishing, what I like to do is kind of match the bait. So when we're saying Cisco, Smelt, Minnow baits, then we're looking at something right there. I've got a Berkeley Power Minnow and then it's tipped with a minnow head. Now these specific heads are a company, a local company out of Fort Francis, Ontario called Bass Tactics. Now it's a quarter ounce and then I'm fishing with a four inch power minnow. Something that's got a little bit of a scent impregnated but seems to typically work. Mike was fishing with a tube jig, which a white tube jig has always been good. And then over the last year, I found that a white minnow bait with a paddle tail has actually started to really stir up a good bite. And you want to be fishing with a rod that's got something of a good backbone. Now this is a 32 inch St. Croix medium heavy. You want that hook set. They've got a stiff jaw, hard mouth. You want to get that hook directly into that top lip. So you need something to jerk on it. I typically spool with about 10 pound test mono for my reels and then I'll put a leader in here and the little sw swivel in between. Now this ball swivel allows for no twisting. When you're jigging and this lure is typically doing circles, spinning around, figure eight motion, stuff like that, your line can twist real bad. So that little ball swivel allows for you to keep from twisting your line and being able to fish for a good period of time without having problems. And then the leader, I use fluorocarbon. I'll go with a eight to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader material. And that just allows for a little bit of stretch and for, well, hide it. We're trying to keep that bait away from being seen. So I want to keep enough room between the swivel and that lure. And he piled in here and then came up and then was on me, on me, on me, and then just... As soon as I tried to drop it down and make him chase, he just disappeared. Nice lines, too. Well, I was just kind of trash talking Mike there, because he had been seeing some and hadn't been able to hook up. And while I was looking away, it nearly yanked the rod right out of my hand. Should have a nice lake trout here. Get this bird out of here and see if we can land them. I just switched uh, from the minnow bait and went to uh, the paddle tail. I'd only been down there maybe five minutes. And then that's what we got. So there's the paddle tail with that Bass Tactics minnow head on there. And then that's the reward. How's that? Nice Lake of the Woods Lake Trout. You know what, it was one of those, uh, we've been moving around and seeing some followers and not really had a lot of takers and it gets that midpoint of the day where it's a little low. And if I didn't pull a rookie mistake and pull out my cell phone, just check it out for a second and then look down and there was a mark on it before I could move, he hammered it. And he's taking a lot more drag than a lot of them recently, so I'm hoping he's a little nicer. Fishing 55 right here. We got our trusty local here. <laughs> Grab him for us. Oh, 
closer. Yeah. Should we see him swivel soon. Just a spunky one. Oh, side hooked him. <laughs> That's why. Let's see what happens. He got a little side hooked and act like a monster. But look at him here. You can see where either a musky or something's gone in and gouged him pretty good on both sides. Amazing that a fish that big can still be someone's bait. Yeah. <laughs> Right now what I switched up this afternoon is I've gone with the it's a white with kind of a salt and pepper in it Berkeley Havoc uh, swim bait. Now it's a skinnier one, doesn't have much of a body as you can see, but it's got the ringed body so it gives a little bit more of a vibration in the water and then that paddle tail. Just a little bit different action than just a straight minnow bait. It's got a little bit more vibration, calls them a little bit better. And then just put her on that quarter ounce white minnow head. Seems to be doing the ticket, resembles what the bait is down there. Trout seem to be hitting it. Might have to give one to Mike. Maybe small, but it's still bigger than yours, Mike. <laughs> Little guy. Still tasty, though. Well, basically daydreaming again, like we've been all day. He came off bottom like a rocket. Took it, caught me off guard. <laughs> Tried to set the hook, and well, I couldn't keep up to him. Basically, probably because he's so small, I was pulling him hard. But, reel's all messed up, and I got some work to do. There's a fish, yep, coming right up, coming right up. Come on, up. Well, this one came right off the bottom like a rocket ship. I didn't even really see it until it was about 10 feet up. Came straight up and hammered it. A tangle job there. Well, I was jigging about 10 feet off the bottom. It seems like the weather patterns changed here a little bit. It's starting to, clouds are starting to dissipate. So last couple fish have been pretty aggressive. They come right up and, and hit it. So I'm in about 55 feet of water. I was fishing 10 feet off the bottom. And this is what happened. It's the first time uh, I've ever been lake trout fishing through the ice. And it's a lot of fun. The fish are few and far between, but when you get them, they, they really like to fight. There he goes. So hopefully the fish will start picking up now that this uh, weather's changing. It's kind of starting to stop snowing now and see blue sky, sun's gonna come out. We'll get some more. It's kind of nice now. The sun's trying to poke out. It's cooled off a little bit. We got rid of the rain and uh, not rain drizzle, I guess. And uh, now it's turned into a little bit of snow and the sun's trying to peek out in places. So maybe that'll give them just enough uh, change that they'll start kicking in here right before we're about three o'clock so got about an hour and a half left and we've had a little more action here in the last half hour. Matt just missed another one so that's, I think we're gonna fish on. That one just appeared out of nowhere. I don't even know what was going on but this is another little guy here. Matt had been seeing so much action on the tube bait, so I switched it up. And it's another little guy, but yeah, he never even gave me a chance to see what he was doing. He just came in from the side and hammered it. 
They are pretty though. Nice colors on them. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza and Nays Baits. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lots of Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. You are the first to rise, first to teach, to get your hands dirty and lend them. You're first to protect. As a hunter, being first is a big part of who you are. And we are first for you. The single most influential hunter's rights and conservation organization in the world. Join like your way of life depends on it. Markham Technologies unleashes GPS with the release of the RT9, the first to combine sonar, underwater camera, and Navionics mapping in a 9-inch ruggedized touchscreen tablet. Built on the Android operating system, the Wi-Fi-enabled RT9 can be used as a standalone tablet or snap into the cradle or performance pack for unmatched portability. Ice electronics the way they were meant to be. Sonar, GPS, underwater camera, one unit. Experience the RT9 from Markham Technologies. Nearly 70 years ago, a simple idea was taking form in the heart of the ice belt. That idea was, if you combined a commitment to quality with a passion for the sport of ice fishing, you could build a better ice auger. From that idea, StrikeMaster was born. Forever committed to innovation in the quest to build a lighter, more durable auger. StrikeMaster, powerful, durable, reliable. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by the W.C. Russell Moccasin Company and Golden Hawk Canoes. Well, that wraps up our final episode on our ice fishing tour across Canada. We hope that you've picked up some tips and techniques as well as some great go-to locations the next time you plan a trip north of the border. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Are you rolling? <laughs> I think I got something that... Brand X, we call it. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I'm supposed to talk? Yeah, go ahead. No, I'm trying to catch this fish. <laughs> Stick around, folks. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back after these messages. Mm -hmm.